الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله and especially this is for the believers in general and specifically also for those who are tried with the fitna of takfir that this is a disease in their hearts and they follow the worst people of mankind as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned about the Khawarij and he said Khawarij kilab al-nar the dogs of the hellfire that we want to take out time to reflect and understand that if you busy yourself with cursing people speaking about leaders going against the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam cursing and making takfir of the ulama calling and accusing the ulama of being hypocrites and scholars for dollars attacking Ahl al-ilm wa fiqh fi deen attacking the people who adhere to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and propagate the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Alayhi Afdal Salatu Wasalam as our Shaykh Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al wadii said about the Dawah of Ahl Sunnah versus the Dawah to Bida, Ahl Bida. He said, Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, who are Dawah to Nil Kitabi Lam, Min Kitabi Law, El Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wala Alihi Wasallam, El Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wala Alihi Wasallam. He said that the Dawah of Ahl Sunnah, this is the Dawah we want to be on. The Dawah of Ahl Sunnah, this is the Dawah uh, from the Book of Allah, meaning the Quran, to the Quran. From the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It isn't the Dawah of Takfir. It isn't the Dawah of Tabdi'ah. It isn't the Dawah of Tafsiq, of accusing people of sins and accusing people of kufr and accusing people of hypocrisy. The Dawah of the Khawarij, those people who the Salaf of Saleh, Ridwan Allahi Alayhim, some of them, they had difference of whether they're Muslim or not. Is this, this the minhaj you want to be upon? So I want you to reflect on this, this ayat a simple ayat and think about if you're going to be asked about who the Tagut is on the Day of Judgment or are you going to be asked something else and are you going to be thinking about something else and how should you come to Allah should you come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your heart filled with animosity towards Muslims and having made takfir without the right to do so Without the duwab, without the criterion, or are you going to come to Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the qalbun salim, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Here's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَى الْمَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem. The day that it won't, that the wealth won't benefit them, nor their children, except the one who comes to Allah with a clean heart, a qalbun, qalbun salim. The Prophet ﷺ said, Inna Allah la yandru ila surukum wa la yandru ila surukum wa la malakum wa la kin yandru ila qulubukum wa malakum wa kama qala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in Sahih Muslim that verily Allah does not look to your shapes and your image you know your 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 outer appearance and your wealth in one narration but he looks to your deeds and your heart so if your deeds were spreading wickedness and facade in the earth then ask yourself do you fit the criterion of having a qalbun salim a healthy heart and if your actions in your time spent in this limited dunya was spent praising Allah, remembering Allah, bridging the bonds between the believers, calling people to obey the leaders even if they're in sin. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, وَعَتِيُوا اللَّهُ وَعَتِيُوا رُسُولُ وَأُولِ الْأَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, obey Allah and obey the message and those charge in authority over you. The Prophet sallallahu said, The Prophet sallallahu said, hear and obey the Muslim leader 
and that which you love and that which you detest, as long as he doesn't order you with sinfulness. And if he orders you with the sinfulness, then there's no hearing and obeying in that matter, as the Salaf understood this. The Prophet also mentioned that you would find disobedient rulers, but as long as they do, they adhere to the Salat, you don't rebel against them. And that includes your tongue. That includes sitting in a welfare state under the auspices of a disbelieving society and making takfir of the Muslim leaders in the Muslim lands. That includes you too. So this is why I invite myself and my brothers and sisters to clean up our ittaqad, clean up the way that we see the world, and make sure make sure that we're in the minhaj al nabuwa. It's not a, a, a religion, and not a minhaj based on rebellion, takfir, uh, revolt, revolution, overturning systems. But rather, it is actualizing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْتِ لَلِي عَبُدُونَ I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear Allah wa ta'ala. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَ مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى عَلِي وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَمَ